Today we got some New Jersey supermarket chats going on. One, we got some tips on how to always get the best deal, and two, we got some new uh, trendy stuff happening at some supermarkets in the state. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another uh, vlog for our uh, channel and website. Uh, back in the day when we first started our YouTube channel, we used to do a weekly supermarket roundup. Uh, it was just a look at the various flyers that, that we received uh, and what was on sale and what was a good deal and comparing the, the supermarkets. And it, it became a little bit of a, of a drag because as we, we promoted things and it was really hard to find things. I can't promote things that are bad for you. like. Uh, chips and other breads and other junk because most of the stuff sold at, at any supermarket is junk it's bad for you processed or high in sugar and carbs so that kind of gave birth to our low carb keto carnivore channel where we have at least a year worth of material to talk about because once you know you, there's really nothing much else to, to talk about so it's going to have a limited lifespan or a reduced frequency lifespan the low carb channel but what I wanted to talk about regarding the, the supermarkets today, instead of going line by line and talking about what was on sale for nickels less than something else, was something I like to call establishing a baseline price. Now, if you go shopping regularly enough at ShopRite or anywhere for that matter, stop and shop, it doesn't matter. You'll realize that there's uh, th certain things are on sale in rotation. Like you'll have like Oscar Mayer bacon on sale one week, and the next week it's Smithfield, and then the week after that it's Hatfield, and the week after that it's something else. Hormel Black Label bacon. I'm just using ba bacon as an example, but it uh, you'll realize that you should never pay me like more than a certain price. Like never buy it not on sale because it's always, almost always on sale. So um, what I'm going to do now is give you a couple things like I have three meat items that I have baseline prices on that I will never ever pay more than. The first one is bacon. Like it's always on sale for either $3.99 a pound or less and they sometimes have digital coupons and it can be as low as $2.99 a pound. Um, that should be, you should never pay more because as you can see here, uh, currently or recently, the Oscar Mayer bacon was nine bucks a pound. Who would ever buy it? It's not that great. It's not that much different than Hormel or any other brand to pay nine dollars a pound. It's asinine. So three ninety nine a pound is what you should pay for bacon or less. Now there's some exceptions like there's this uh, Leedy's bacon that's uh, local bacon out of uh, PA that's pretty good. That's uh, only a buck more a pound and it's 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 a really really good nice treat to have Leedy's bacon. So and, it, and there may be actual weeks where there's no bacon on sale then you, since bacon has good sh um, shelf life and it lasts in many weeks in the fridge you should always buy a couple packs when it's on sale so you could go through the weeks where you uh, it's not on sale and you don't feel like getting ripped off. Next is beef, ground beef. We eat ground beef primarily, uh, red meat and you'll notice that uh, the family packs always have a better price per pound and you can get it for a buck 99 a pound like recent uh, this week I think it's still on sale at ShopRite for a dollar 99 a pound you get four or five pounds of it and it's it's a lot of meat for a little money and I believe Wegmans has this family pack for a buck 99 always so I don't think you need to get it on sale um, so it, it just pains me to pay you know, five dollars a pound when it's not on sale, and if it's if there's no Shoprite brand meat on sale, and I'm craving red meat and I don't have any, I will spring for the Pat Lafrida type meats, uh, which are five four ninety nine a pound for just a block of uh, mixed uh, ground beef, than pay, buying the Shoprite because the Pat Lafrida really is a lot better meat. And lastly, hot dogs also. I mean, sometimes they're like six bucks a pack at places like King's for like Nathan's or Sabret hot dogs. Um, but they go on sale at ShopRite a lot for $2.49 or $1.99 with digital coupon. And it, it, it's, it's a no-brainer to, to not to stock up on, on them. So you can buy 10 packs and they stay good for a long time. So never, never pay more. 
And if they don't go on sale, don't eat them. Find something else that's affordable. Now lastly, I wanna talk about this. Uh, Kings has something new they're coming out. It's called Provisions. They're meal kits. Provisions meal kits. There's a big trend in the uh, internet world where you get these, these boxes sent to you with just the right amount of ingredients so there's no waste. You cook it, you eat it, you, and there's just no leftovers, there's no waste. And they're pretty expensive usually. Uh, Kings has these things, they're 20 bucks a box and it claims to feed two people. Um, and when they launch, I don't know if they're launched by the time this video goes, but so they give you all the raw ingredients, they got some celebrity um, recipe card and, and all sorts of fancy graphics and feel good uh, sayings. But they have uh, four recipes uh, and they're 20 bucks a piece or $35 for two. So instead of $10 a person, it comes out to maybe $9 a person. But let's take a look at some of these. They have like chili lime tacos, which are uh, 45, I'm not gonna talk about calories or fat. They're gonna talk about carbs. 45 grams of, of carbs, which is way higher than I would like to eat in a meal. Um, when you're low carb keto or carnivore, you try to go stay single digit carbs. Like I'm single digit carbs and I feel lightheaded. Um, I haven't had a, a double digit carbs in, in a while. I'm lightheaded because I'm in deep ketosis right now. Also with my intermittent fasting. But 45 grams of carbs is way too much. And then next, I thought this was gonna be great. Ginger beef uh, lettuce wraps. I thought it was gonna be like no carbs. It's 52 grams of carbs because it has like noodles in it. And the noodles uh, or any kind of pasta, if it's not like zucchini noodles, it's uh, 52 grams of carbs is way too much. You're not, it's gonna raise your blood sugar and you're gonna gain weight from these, these supposedly healthy meal kits. And next is, uh, you know it's gonna be higher in carbs, is asparagus risotto. And that, this clocks in at 67 grams of carbs. Way too much, you're gonna be hungry, you're gonna eat afterward. Uh, an hour afterward, you're gonna be hungry after eating this meal. And lastly, they have something, uh, some chicken kebab. And this was the, the blood sugar raising kingpin here at 81 grams of carbs. It blows up your whole diet. So I think Kings is, is, is probably uh, doing the right thing, uh, jumping on this trend, because a lot of people like it. It's nifty, it's easy, it takes the thinking out of making um, a meal. And I guess you can have some sort of a, a taste that you're not used to and explore the world of tastes. But uh, we wouldn't do it. We like simple meals. We don't need concoctions or flavors or, or hype or trending. Um, I'd rather just eat uh, a hamburger with, uh, I'll dip it in mustard if I want to <laughs> live a good life. So that's it. That's uh, this week's supermarket uh, tips and new news coming out of Kings. We'll see you next time. We'll probably do another one next month. Have a good week.